Welcome back to my Monday Motivational Post. But before I begin today, let me ask you a question. Do you know how to differentiate the anger from anxiety? Why I'm asking this question to you is the line of difference between the two is very thin. Was there an occasion when you mistook someone's anxiety for you as an anger and felt bad about it, got upset and even broke the relationship? You must listen to today's story in order to get the clarity and perhaps see your relationship with the people you live and deal with. Lord Krishna as a child was fond of eating butter, ghee and other milk products. He used to eat them with great delight at every given opportunity. He was quite mischievous too, stealing butter, ghee and all of them along with his friends from others' homes in Gokul. The residents of Gokul often complained about this to Krishna's mother, Ishodama. Added to all of this, one day Krishna's friends and his elder brother Balarama came home and told her that Krishna had eaten some soil too. She became very upset and very much concerned too. So. She took a small stick and caught hold of Krishna and asked him, What have you done? Have you eaten the soil? Show me your mouth. Open your mouth. Everyone around thought Ishodama was very angry with Krishna. But Krishna thought it otherwise. He saw a mother's anxiety in Ishodama, but not any anger in her. He thought she was perhaps worried that he might develop some kind of stomach ache due to the eaten soil. That's why he told his mother, Oh my mother, please don't worry. I'm eating some butter and ghee also in order to digest that. But Ishodama said, No. Open your mouth. Show me your mouth. She insisted that she would check his mouth. And you know what Krishna did? He did not become upset. He was rather happy that his mother had so much of concern for her. So he gave her a beautiful gift. He opened his mouth and what Ishodama could see there was not even a trace of a soil. But the mighty universe including 14 different worlds. Let me present to you what happened there in the form of a song. Amma Tamudu Mannu Tinenu Chudamma Aniramanna Telupaga Annani Chevinulimi Yeshoda Yedanna Ni Noru Tupumanaga Tupiti Watani Notanum Bapure Padunal Gubhuvana Bhandam Mulu Arupa Muganina Yeshodaku Tapa Munashi Inchi Jenathan Yetagan Chen Krishna knew and felt his mother's love for him. So even though she appeared to be angry with a stick in her hand and a frown in her eyes, he did not think so. He was rather touched by his mother's love for him. So he blessed her 
with a sight that dispelled all her concerns and fulfilled her life. We do come across such situations wherein our near and dear ones express their feelings sometimes with a raised voice and maybe even a stern warning. And very unfortunate, sometimes we see people taking extreme steps when such things happen. But tell me, is it not what they do that is for our good? If they don't do it for you, who will? Please understand the difference between the anger and anxiety. It will do a world of good to you. Thank you for watching this Monday Motivational Post. We'll be back again next Monday with another motivational story. In the meantime, take good care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember, you are awesome.